Hola muchachos, welcome here. We are going to get ridiculously toned down below. <laughs> no, but for real, we are doing the 30 day squat challenge. I see these all over the place and I'm kind of really interested because a little bit of a backstory. In 2018, I got pregnant and at about 20 weeks of my pregnancy, I was dying, dying. I was completely fine, but I was in a lot of pain. My pelvis just kind of gave up on me and left me alone, stranded, and because of that, my baby, Ellie, was really sitting low and actually resting her head on my pubic bone because my pelvis wasn't there to lend a helping hand. Previous to this time, I did 500 squats four times a week, and it was different types of squats. It was ballet squats, the classic squat we all know and love, like the squatting squat, pulsing squats, but I always made sure four times a week I was doing 500 squats. For me, it felt a lot like cardio. I got a great burn, and I made sure that I worked up to that level and staying at that level kept my legs really strong and toned, and I loved it. When I had my pelvis issues, that all went out the window, and I said goodbye to 500 squats a day. I I started lowering the amount of squats I did and I was still in brutal amounts of pain and I stopped doing squats altogether because I realized it was doing more havoc to my body than good. Beginning of December 2018, I gave birth to my beautiful baby daughter and I wanted to give myself until January and a little bit into January for just a break. I needed a bit of a break, a little bit of a breather. Your body goes through war and back when you go into labor and birth a child. So I wanted to give myself some time, always good idea but whenever I am done giving birth and then a little bit of time the first thing that I start to do besides just walking is squats that's kind of just how I get back into working out and recently I've seen this huge like 30 day squat challenge all of them are different some of them start with like 10 squats a day and you work your way up some it's just a hundred squats a day across the board and I realized I could do better than that I think so for the next 30 days Mom is gonna do 200 squats a day, resting on Sundays. <laughs> you gotta rest on the Sabbath, and I believe you need some sort of a rest day if you're doing that many squats. If you do it straight for 30 days, I don't know if that's a good thing. I am not a fitness professional whatsoever. I should actually call my sister, cause she's one, and I could get some more information from her. But anyways, this is my 30 day challenge doing 200 squats a day. I'm taking you guys with me, and we're gonna do some pictures of honestly kind of like the side of my bum not skin that is not the kind of video we are serving up today but we're probably gonna put on some stretchy pants and we're gonna do beginning of 30 days and after at the end of 30 days it always says on these squat challenges you get an extra inch to your booty your booty is more lifted all this stuff happens and that sounds great <laughs> I love the sound of that but one of the reasons I did squats all the time it just made me stronger I like working out for strength sake it's not so much I want to look like this or whatever it's healthy for my body and it makes me stronger I'm all in so we're gonna go ahead and take our side picture and get going because this is day one and I better put on a different outfit because this is not going to work <laughs> for this challenge <laughs> oh and be sure to subscribe if you're new new to my channel be sure to subscribe and let me know down below is there another 30-day challenge that I should decide to pick up after this one oh, let's start squatting <laughs> Feels so good though. I can feel muscle working. <laughs> it's awesome. 
I'm on day four of my squatting challenge. So far my legs feel great. I love the feeling that they are getting toned and tighter and just stronger. Yes, my hair is different. This is like old news now. You guys are like way in the future. <laughs> but anyway, you can see I'm wearing my jeans and I don't have time to put on sweatpants and then change out of my jeans because my kids are gonna wake up like any second and I wanna get my squatting done before my kids wake up. So we're staying in our jeans. And that's the thing with squats, like if you got like a looser pair of jeans, you can do squats anywhere, anytime. So don't be surprised if you see me wearing jeans a lot. Also, I'm trying just to maintain, you can't tell right now because I'm leaning. I'm trying to maintain a good upper body like posture while I'm squatting. And I figure while I do all my squats, I'm gonna go ahead and watch a little bit of Sarah's day. I love this girl, she's amazing. She's expecting her baby boy pretty darn soon. So gonna do some squats watch some video, and I'll be good to go. We are eight days in. My legs feel awesome. <laughs> like, really, truly awesome. My legs just feel strong. And I think also doing this every single day, like just always kind of knowing this needs to be done in the day before you go to bed or whatever. It's another thing that I can put on my list that's easy to do, that's good for me, that makes me feel also very productive when all is said and done. It doesn't take me too long and I love doing a 100 regular squats, like just the classic squat, and then also doing a 100 plie squats. I feel like with the plie squats, I get more of a workout in my like upper thighs which I'm totally all about and then the regular spots it's mostly like in like my glute area so I feel like I'm getting a good workout doing both types of squats plie squats are definitely my favorite they're the easiest it makes me feel like a ballerina again and I like that if anything I don't notice my pants fitting differently I don't even notice that I look different we're still pretty early in this challenge but on day eight I'm feeling very good a little bit sore just like a a little bit but not too bad not too bad at all we are back it's two weeks hello welcome I have shaved my head <laughs> what happened to my hair it's broken it's broken <laughs> it's not broken we shaved it I feel like this is a video showing you how many times my hair can transform in a single month anyway we are at the halfway point of this challenge and I am seriously feeling so so good I've been doing my squats every single day religiously always resting on Sundays I'm feeling nice and tight not overly sore anymore I've been rolling my legs out here let me grab oh, oh don't fall here, let me grab it I've been using my roller and just kind of rolling my legs out and my bum out through the week at different points whenever I really feel like I need it and I'm baby wearing most of the time which I absolutely love I so that means it. when I do my squats I am getting just like a little bit more of an intense weight with my squat because Sorry, kids are just throwing everything everywhere. Just having that extra weight forces me to really focus on my posture, get nice and deep into a squat and pull myself up. I want to measure my butt because I feel like maybe we did get somewhere, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do my squats, turn on some music. We're doing it with the kids and we're going to get this done. We've done it. Woo! Why did 30 days feel so long? Actually, no, it wasn't that bad, but I, I was looking at my footage as I was starting this challenge and I had hair. <laughs> that just felt like it was so long ago. And yet again, we have shaved our head again. We are on the last day of our squatting challenge. I've yet to do my squats for today, so we're gonna do that right now. Give myself a little bit of a break. We're gonna go ahead and measure and see if anything has happened. All of these challenges are always like, I gained like two inches and I'm like, what? Like, you sure you're not wearing a diaper or something? That's crazy. I do not think <laughs> I've grown two inches whatsoever, but we shall see. Anyway, let's go ahead and do our squats and see where we're at. Bum, 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 bum. reason 
I just leaned over like that because my back felt weird. <laughs> I'm sure you guys were like, why is Sarah like this? It's because there's some, I don't know why. Actually, you know what, I do know why. Recently when I'm feeding Ellie, my back is like super slunch because I'm breastfeeding. I need to like, it's just really hard, I don't know. Oh my goodness, my legs are burning. A little bit of a break, I'm gonna get some water, then we're gonna go ahead and measure this area. <laughs> Okay, I was kind of expecting this. We lost half an inch to our bum. And I was totally expecting that, kind of, but <laughs> that's funny. I just said but and we're talking about butts. The reason why, if I look at my numbers, yes, I started this challenge at 35.5 inches, but <laughs> there it goes again. However, I mean to say, looking at myself before and after, actually realistically, completely naked. I can actually see my butt looks better now than it did a month ago. It just looks a little more lean and toned than previously. I can say the same thing about my upper thighs as well as my calves. So maybe even though I lost half an inch to my bum, I actually feel better about it because firstly, I'm stronger. It was something that I could do in my day and it was whether even I was cooking, whether I was brushing my teeth with my kids, it was something I could easily incorporate into my day and do to give myself a little bit of a workout coming out of kind of postpartum and into more of my regular routine. And just for the fact that I can look at myself in the mirror and go, this looks a little more toned, this looks a little more lean, this feels really good, is worth all of it. Whether my booty grows or not, working out is beneficial for me. It wasn't easy making sure I was doing my squats every day. It was something I had to really think about and something I had to implement. It had nothing to do with motivation, but everything to do with discipline. And I think that's where you really start making progress. Thank you guys very much for watching my 30 day squat challenge. I may have this device that is supposed to make uh, your body look toned and take away loose skin and all this crazy stuff. And I'm thinking maybe I'll do a 30 day challenge of that. That. See if it actually works. That could be very interesting. Let me know what you guys think about that in a comment down below or any other kind of 30 day challenges you think I should take up. Anyway, thank you guys very much for joining me and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.